And then as we go into our first effort, I'm going to have you bring it up to 50%. And then going right into the effort, bring it up, bring it up. As I said, for these, I want you to try and touch your MAP. 45 seconds. You've done 20s, 30s, 40s. You did do a little bit of 45. But this will be the first time doing, in this series, doing big blocks of 45 on and 115 off. And do make sure that is off, because that, in this workout, that's what we're doing. Another workout where you're assigned a little lower effort for the 45s, you may be filling it with active recovery and linking it up in a different way for a different overall outcome. Right now, you're going to go in 15. Five of these, remember? Five times 45 seconds, 115 in between. Bring the gear in. Bring the gear in. Bring the gear in. You're going in less than five now. Three, two, one. Come on. Up, 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 up. Use the gear, use the cadence. Wind into this first one. Stay relaxed. You got 30 seconds. Halfway. Come on, team. Come on. Push, push. That's 15. Awesome job. Come on. All the way. All the way. Come on, let's go right through. First little finish line here. Three, two, one. Easy. Soft pedal. Back the gear off. Recover. Recover. This workout in my cycling lifetime has been one of those magic workouts that we all used to stimulate explosive power, but also you're bringing in an endurance component by doing it back to back a number of times. Don't underestimate the value of these kinds of things interspersed amongst the rest of your things. And that's one of the elements of everything we're trying to do, even in this series, just teach you, get you to recognize the different training kind of modules, components, things that you want to focus on. In 15 seconds, you're going again. Sorry. In two, one. I missed the clock there. Here we go. Up, up. Come on, number two. You're into it. Wind it up. Get to the number. A little more. Now hold it. Hold it. Last 10. Come on, push right through. Push right through. Five. Three. Two. One. Easy. Back the gear right out. Back the gear right out. First few seconds. Recover. 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 It's just that feeling after you stop of the lactate coming into your legs, grabbing hold of you. These repeats of doing this help you with dealing with that, clearing it more effectively. Third one coming up. You are going to go in 30 seconds this time. <laughs> Do a little top to bottom check. Relax face. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Relax. 
<clears throat> relax shoulders, soft elbows, light hands. And in five, three, two, one, up, up. On drive into this. <clears throat> Think of yourself as lifting, lifting. 30 seconds to go. Come on. Come on. Over halfway. Now hold it. Last 15. Come on. Give it a little more cadence if you can. 10. Last five. Three. Two. One. Whew. Back the gear off. Get the legs moving. Recover. Recover. <clears throat> because we're coming from running background, I guess, old things die hard. And I often, if any of you have the same kind of feeling, but I often liken this to when you do a really hard, short, steep hill repeat or hill effort running, and the coach says you to, tells you to kind of run over the top, keep the legs moving, and it doesn't happen right away, but your legs just kind of feel like, whoa. <laughs> First couple steps, not so easy. Okay. Two to go in this set. We're going in 10. Find that cadence you've been working on. Going in five. More gear. Two, one. Here we go. Concentrate. Bring it up in the first part. And holding it for these 30 seconds. Come on, come on, halfway. Drive that locomotive. Come on, up, up, 15. You got it, everyone. Last 10. Hold on. Three, two, one. That's it. One more. Recover, recover. Back the gear off at first, way off. Soft pedal. The goal of these, first goal, first goal, is to at least maintain, after the very first one, which quite often is a bit soggy, hard to get into your rhythm, but maintain your numbers definitely through the first set. Second set, I'm going to want you to bring it back to the same place and try and nudge it up a little bit, a little bit. It is enough recovery that you can hit good numbers. It isn't enough recovery that we're going to try and do absolutely mind-blowing all out. Bring your gear in. Last one in this set. Getting ready. Going in five, three, two, come on, engage. 45 seconds. Pay attention to what cadence is giving you the best result. Come on, eyes up, shoulders down. Big power through the feet. You're halfway. Come on. Come on. Stay engaged. Focus. Last 15. Count it down. Here we go. I'm going to stand out on this one. Five. Three. Two. One. Whew. Easy. 
Recover. Recover. Really good job. Turn the pedals over. Easy in the beginning. So we were training. Well, funny story on this workout. I had one of the current Olympians in here coaching, Yasmin. And she actually that day was doing this workout and explaining to her <coughs> what the workout was about. And she goes, oh, I've probably done it 80 times in my garage. <laughs> I go <laughs> from, I said the coach's name from national team and she was like, no, no, the one after him, the one after him, they all love this one. <laughs> and it does give you, I like it, it's got that element of being short enough, you can really focus, push yourself, not be scared, and yet it's hugely valuable, the nine minutes that you put in, still like a nine minute block, but it's just delivered differently to your body. <clears throat> okay, we are gonna go again in less than 30 seconds. So that was your little break there. In 20, what did I say, this one? This round, I want you to start where you were, try and add to it, maybe try a different gear, maybe try a bigger gear. You might find you're spiking in your cadence. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push, push. Awesome job. Come on, everyone. Like a locomotive, winding it up, winding it up, halfway, and you got this, top it off, last 15 seconds, don't be shy, push, 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 almost at five, come on guys, three, two, one, Whew. Back it off, teach yourself to get that recovery as quickly as possible. Imagine this is something where you're maybe trying, <clears throat> and just because we're not doing hills does not mean there isn't huge value here on your hill riding, especially if there's erratic, Pace change, it's sometimes hard to get used to. <clears throat> okay, 30 whole more seconds. Have a little drink of water, don't forget that. Nice, 20 seconds. Now we have four more of these, so let's just really focus here on drawing the most out of ourselves, okay? Think of that connection to the pedal. Strong feet, driving into this. I'm gonna cue you to stand on a couple of them. In three, two, one, up, up. Hang on, 45 seconds. Watch that number come up. There you are. Well over 85, up to an AP. You're gonna hold it. You're almost halfway. Push, push. Get our cadence. Come on, 15 seconds. All the way, all the way. Push, push. Come on, everyone, last five. Come on, you got this. Three, two, one, Whew. back that gear off, maximal recovery. A 
recover, recover. Three more. So the thing with this too, play around with a few different dynamics. I'm going to ask you to stand into this one, see the difference in how that feels. And I'm going to ask you to stand out of one of them as well. All right, that standing, you got the lactate, it'll feel better standing in, but then you got to hold it. Start getting your gear set up. This is your third one. Get your gear set up. You're going in 15 seconds, and we're standing in the first 10. Come on. More gear. In five. In three. Two. Up, up. Come on. Stand in the first one. Get on top of the pedals. Drive it forward. Getting sitting down in two. One, here we go now. Come on, come on. 30 seconds. Keep winding it up. Keep winding it up. Halfway. Come on, get low. Get a bit arrow. Feel fast. Be fast. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. Hold on to it. Come on. Last five. Drive for that finish line. Three, two, one. Whew. Back the gear off. Recover, recover. Awesome job. Awesome job. Okay. Felt different, right? Sometimes make a mistake standing and getting all excited when a big effort goes you just blow that extra bit into your legs makes it harder to regroup from but to practice this stuff <clears throat> okay start bringing your leg speed back you have 30 seconds I don't know how much you've been playing with your leg speed remember that thing we talk about where there's a point at the top end of your range where you spike and the cardiovascular effort is harder. So remember that you want to find that balance of strength and turnover or gear and RPM to maximize. Learn what it is in five. Bring the rest of the gear in. Second from last, two, one, come on. I'm going lots of gear this time. Downside of that can be that you bog down. <laughs> Try and stay on top of it. 30 seconds, less than, almost halfway. Come on, guys. Come on. Well over halfway. Push it, push it, push it. Into our last 15. Last 10. And stand out of it. Come on. Up, up. Three, two, one. Recover. That was hard too. Good job. Recover. Recover. Last one. Very hard to do this workout many places other than a trainer track. You can as well. <clears throat> Actually, a good way to go from this to doing it on the track for especially anyone you know leaning towards that discipline. But like everything, when you're going really hard and pushing your physical limit, it makes you know your Technical sometimes falls off a little bit. How to be careful. Last is fastest, everyone. Going in less than 10 now. Start bringing the gear in. 
You practice a lot of different things. In three, two, one, come on. Let's just kick the crap out of this last one. Up, up, find that number. Hold the gear. Not quite halfway. Almost there though, come on. Maybe on your drops again. Get down into it. 15. Sorry, 20. See, I'm seeing stars. <laughs> Hold on to it, everyone. Last 10 seconds. Any way you want to do it. Five. All the way. Three, two, one. Everyone get their fastest lastes. Nicely done, everyone. Bring the gear back. Recover. Recover. Short. Sweet. Not easy. And get the legs back moving. One great thing about doing this program with you throughout the month is we are hitting all those things we need to be doing during the week. All your zone two, your skills, your hill stuff, long efforts, and short efforts. And these are all in our weekly programs. But sometimes if you're coming on different schedules, it's hard to make sure you have all of the above kind of thing. So, and that's also something you can always touch base with us about because it is all in a big block plan. And if you're looking for something specifically, then we can help guide you to where you need to be. How fun was that? Good? <laughs> I like this day. I like to get the short interval day. <laughs> you know, but finally enough, it was when I started cycling, it was something that I was kind of, I was scared of trying to go hard for a short period of time. <laughs> like lots of us are. That's what Michaela used to say, one of our coaches. She used to be scared going into the tunnel like a big train. <sighs> All right, we're just gonna finish off here. Thanks for joining me. I'll stay on for a little bit afterwards just so everyone can warm, warm down. But for those of you doing our workout somewhere else, that's a wrap.